We have a back-to-back -back winner in this year's downtown burger battle. For the second year in a row, Crawford's on Phillips Avenue takes top honors, beating out three dozen other restaurants. As Kevin Perry Groton reports, Crawford's top chef says winning a second time is just as thrilling as the first time around. Crawford's proved to have the recipe for success in its culinary creation called the Gold Standard, entered in this year's downtown burger battle. It, I can't really say there's much of a secret. I try to get the best ingredients and try not to mess them up. Crawford's won the competition for a second straight year. Quite an accomplishment considering burgers aren't the restaurant's specialty. We're not a burger giant. We don't, we don't ever have to cook 3,700 burgers, but in January we did. Customers sampling the burger battle entries spent more than a million dollars during what's typically the slowest time of year for downtown restaurants. It's been wild. Every year we kind of wonder, like, how can you top this? It's always crazy, but every year the community of Sioux Falls comes back. And with this trophy secured for a second year in a row, Crawford's is already making plans plans to keep customers coming through the doors through the rest of winter. Well, we have Valentine's coming up um, and we're looking at doing some really nice things for that, bringing, or hopefully bringing in some, some new customers and, and hopefully doing this will actually excite people to come down. If you didn't get a chance to dine on the gold standard during the burger battle, you're still in luck. Crawford's will keep its top rated burger on the menu for everyone to enjoy. Something that your guests like so much you, you don't want to pull off the menu. Like, doesn't make any sense, does it? In Sioux Falls, Perry Groton, Kelloland News. Well, Crawford's can claim a three-peat in these downtown restaurant competitions. They won the pork battle last year as well. Here's this year's burger battle by the numbers. Restaurants sold more than 72,000 burgers during this month-long competition. The burger battle had a total economic impact of more than $2.7 million downtown. And there were 26 so-called burger brawlers, those who ate and voted at all competed restaurants.